Hello again, welcome to our video solution to problem 7 from Super Quiz 1. Here we're asked to compute a really bizarre looking limit. Uh, whew, wow, we have an integral on top, 1 minus cosine, I mean that's not horrible on the bottom. Uh, at least we're, they tell us the answer is 0, but uh, let's see. So as x goes to 0, well, let me start with the bottom, that feels easier. Uh, 1 minus cosine of x. All right, let's see, 1 minus cosine of x. What does that go to as x goes to 0? Well, cosine of x goes to 1, and 1 minus 1 then goes to 0. Okay, uh, what about the, uh, the numerator? Oh, my goodness. So you have an integral, uh, t goes from 0 to x, and then you have, oh, wow, look at this monstrosity, e to the t squared minus 1 dt. Okay, but we want to know what happens as x goes to 0. Oh, this is actually isn't so bad. As x goes to 0, this integral is just starting to look like it integrating from 0 to 0, which, which is 0. Okay, cool. So, oh, wait, it's going to 0 over 0. Hey, wait a second. That's one of those, what did they call those, indeterminant forms from Calc 1? Yeah, that's where I can use that really neat theorem, right? The hospital theorem, right? Lopi Tal's rule. So if we use L'Hopital's rule, this is the same thing as taking the limit as x goes to 0 of, well, I take the derivative top and bottom. So take the derivative with respect to x. OK, and, and that, that, I, that's complicated enough. I write it down. On the bottom, I'm also taking the derivative, but this should be pretty easy. The derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of negative cosine is sine. Okay, so let's see what happens. Well, I should take this derivative, and how do I do that? Oh, it's the derivative of an integral. Like, this is the first fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, so this is f talk 1. That tells me, okay, I copy my limit. This is just going to be this function evaluated at x. So e to the x squared minus 1 over sine of x. Okay, so what happens as x goes to 0? Let's see. Sine of x as x goes to 0, goes to, uh, goes to 0. Okay, what about the top? e to the x squared minus 1, as x goes to 0. Well, let's see, as x goes to 0, you get e to the 0, which is 1, minus 1 is, oh, 0. Oh, it's the same thing again, 0 over 0. Okay, but I can use L'Hopital's rule again. So, x goes to 0, now I take a derivative. Derivative of e to the x squared is going to be Okay, chain rule time, 2x times e to the x squared, derivative minus 1, that's 0, over the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Okay, now what happens as x goes to 0? Let's see, cosine of x as x goes to 0, that goes to 1. Hey, I don't get a 0 on the bottom. And what about 2x e to the x squared as x goes to 0? Ah, well, x goes to 0, this product is going to 0. So this is going to go to 0 over 1, which is 0. Hey, they were right. It worked. Awesome.